back so the military can come through and fight safely. We took 3,000 prisoners in three days, gave them food and water, took away their weapons, and kept going. Uh, we started the battle that ended the war, lost a few people. Um, I myself woke up a few days later in a MASH unit. I apparently died for five minutes. And Incredible. Yeah, it's, I'm just glad to be here. And you guys make this so awesome. This is just so beautiful. And then you have Caleb here, who spends yes. some time with you as well. This is Caleb. He's my soldier's best friend, and he is my best friend. So yeah. he helps a lot. He's even been learning to wake me up in my nightmares. So it's beautiful, beautiful. Gift well, thank, from God. Thank you for your service, my David. Thank you. Um, such a neat thing to see so many people come together. It's yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'm going to look for I'm going to look for Rhonda. Rhonda, come on in. Thanks, David. Thank Rhonda's with Hands On uh, Phoenix, and uh, they, she's kind of helped put this whole thing together. It's a nonprofit. Uh, Rhonda, what a neat thing on a little bit of a rainy morning. Uh, still, you have a tons of volunteers out here, and I'm guessing you work with people like David, veterans, and um, to kind of figure out what they need inside their home. We do. We've been working in partnership with Home Depot on this project for five years. We're kicking off something called Celebration of Service. It's a two-month campaign to do projects just like this that will serve veterans over the next 60 days. And our organization puts volunteers to work where they're needed most. So we work year-round. So we see folks out here with tools and putting together some of the uh, the shelving and things like that. What exactly are you guys doing here at David's Home? We're doing all kinds of stuff. We're painting the entire inside of the house. We're doing some repair on drywall and baseboards that David's um, hit as he's popped wheelies in his motorized yeah. cart. Uh, we're hanging ceiling fans. We're doing some accessibility um, pathways in the backyard so he can get around better on his cart. We're organizing the garage. Um, then we're going to come back in November and paint the outside of the house wow. and do some new flooring for these folks. Do so. another visit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, Rhonda, how can folks learn more about your organization, maybe get involved? Handsonphoenix.org. They can learn everything they need to know. We have opportunities 365 days a year. Okay, great, Rhonda. Thank you for your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. Uh, pretty neat, guys. So we, we, we're cruising into this neighborhood. We turn a corner, and there are uh, all you see are orange. You see lots of orange T-shirts, uh, lots of tools, and it's, uh, it's a, a very positive vibe. It's so cool to see all these people working together. Yes, it is. Way to go. That's, That's wonderful. Awesome. That's a good, good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, yeah. Celeste. Thanks a lot, Celeste. Way to go, Home Depot. Love it. Yes. Okay, Brittany's back. The original Pop Princess is extending her Las Vegas show. We'll tell you for how long coming up in entertainment news. I'm going to be taking notes. I know you will. Think it up. Let's unleash. Rates are competitive, so call today. And a river that breached a dam, you can see causing tremendous flooding. People have had to be rescued from the rooftops. And Jen, this is uh, a sign of what can happen even after a, a typhoon is, you know, more like a, a tropical storm. You get so much of this rain. This happens, in, you know, in the United States. You get these these storms that are go way inland. And this is inland, by the way. We yes, should mention this is it. This is not on the coast. This is uh, next to a river, but inland. Yeah, this is northeast of Tokyo. I mean, this is, uh, it's, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, a big, it's like a big flood basin, but, you know, this is uh, not what you'd probably expect uh, without, you know, the levee system failing. Mm -hmm. And we, we talked to a local, was a breach in a levee that, you know, it, there was heavy rain, and that in itself was a hazard. But then the levee breach is what caused all of this. So that situation is still something we will monitor. We go to the tropical update, and we're still watching Tropical Storm Kilo, which is not too far from Japan, but it's continuing to weaken, um, and really will just unfortunately exacerbate rain in the area. Um, we're going to be watching for Linda. We've got another area to watch in the very busy Eastern Pacific. Uh, we talked about Henri earlier. That's continuing to move north very quickly, and a new area to watch in the Atlantic. But let's focus on the Pacific side of things right now, where Linda out here um, is, you know, barely hanging on it is weakening it's going to become extra tropical soon and what you'll notice a couple of things from Linda one is you know there's not a ton of convection but there is moisture and that moisture is going the opposite way of the track so you you look at the cone and you think any impacts if any from this thing would go that way right but not true the impacts are all getting drawn up here into the southwestern US that's where the moisture is coming that's also the direction that the swell is going as well so the surf is up on the beaches of Southern California um, 
um, as well. So here we go with that moisture track and where we're expecting some extra moisture to get injected into the atmosphere. We're talking California, so we've got some rain chances coming our way in the coming days, getting you into the weekend. Uh, we will be concerned about the threat for some flooding in spots. There are some flood watches already up in parts of Southern California because we could get some heavy rain at times. And even though we need the rain too much at once, can artistic stuff. Uh, so I was kind of impressed, uh, shocked, truly. Number one. And if you love someone. Yeah, you wonder what Jobs would think, right? I mean, he hated that idea. The memes on the <laughs> internet, are, I mean, they're just exploding. I mean, one guy said, I've got your pencil yeah. right here, your Apple pencil, and he attached it to an apple. <laughs> um, all the tablets now, Lance, get smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. but they've got a new iPad out now that's actually grown bigger. Why would that be in 30 seconds or less? And is this something that, that's going to work for them? Really big, but all about business. This has been a big drive for Apple to get the corporate customer. That's why they partnered with IBM on making these vertical apps. They Arizona children are struggling with hunger. My childhood hunger. Help us provide one million meals for... <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> is he still... Safeway store today. Notice how this breakfast... You guys, the polo party is back in town, so we're going to take you out there, and we are going to preview it for you, you know, if you ever wondered about maybe that it could be a sport that you get into. And then the man who wrote the book, Pope Francis. That issue. Back at 8.45 for the Pope's visit. Purpose, and that made for a really warm night. Wendy herself going to join us later this morning with a preview.